Schoolies in Bali can be a dangerous place for Australian teenagers letting their hair down, so some of their mums have tagged along to look out for them. How do you think that's going? It's just gone 2am and violent chaos is erupting between schoolies revellers in Cooter's notorious nightclub district. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sweet, bro. I'm sweet. Strap yourself in because this is just the beginning. Hi, welcome to A Current Affair. I am Georgia. Nice to meet you all. We are here in Bali. <laughs> if you want to ruin your life, come to Bali. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, not a lot. How are you going? Yeah. Hey mum! We are blind! Any question for me? Where's your helmet? It doesn't exist. Why not? I don't want it. No I'm problem. drunk as f mate. These kids don't need a full moon to go crazy. And it's not just teenage school leavers enjoying the festivities. I would probably call you ladies toolies. I'm a cougar. <laughs> They're very irresponsible and they need some... No, no. They need some older generation to teach them how to respect the Balinese. True story. True story. They need... They need some older generation to teach them how to respect the Balinese. And that's a true story. All right, what channel? Jesus Christ. My mum's going to see this. All right, I'll put my serious face on. Hold on. <coughs> it's much better. Yes. Well, look at these nipples. Do you think they're ready for the tonight? No, they're not. I should be in bed. Honestly, you can do anything you want. Every year, thousands of Australians travel here from all over the country to celebrate the end of high school. You happy we finished school? Yeah! I finished, thank <laughs> Sorry, it's in a moment. Why have you come here? To run amok. Run amok? Run what, is that, what does that entail? To get silly, get very silly. Yeah. And why here over Australia? Oh, because it's cheaper. Cheaper, it's all about the money, mate. Money makes the world go around. Cheaper, cheaper. It's one of the biggest parties on the planet. I know this because I was a Bali schoolie and you could say I really got into the spirit of things. There I am lovingly caressing a Balinese bintang beer. Here I'm hanging out with monkeys. There, drinking more bintang. Gee, I must have been pretty thirsty. Now, nearly a decade on, I'm returning to the party island. Bali is literally bonkers. It feels like there are no rules and drugs and booze are everywhere. So I've come back here as a toolie, that's someone who finished school a while ago, yet is crashing schoolies anyway, to give you an honest take of what really goes on. It's certainly fun, but can be extremely dangerous. What type of drugs have you been offered? Oh, like Mushrooms, coke, MDMA, like everything. They'll get, put it in your hand, you just gotta drop it, walk away, yeah, it's pretty hectic. One in five are leaving our country without travel insurance, so without a safety net. You know, there is not one insurance policy that will cover you in the event of a claim if there is uh, illegal drug um, drugs involved. So just don't touch them. Plus, there's Indonesia's drug laws to consider. They're among the toughest in the world. Lisa Cable from Understand Insurance has seen it all when it comes to young people getting into trouble in Indonesia. Be sensible. Purchase from reputable bars and hotels. Try and get drinks that are opened uh, in front of you. From an insurance perspective, overindulgence or overconsumption of alcohol can affect potential claims. How old are you? 25. I'm 17. I don't know why I like Bali, because it's warm and it's just chill and it's just cool. Like even, though, even though you've got a black eye? I'm not overly happy about the black eye, I'm not going to lie. Kind of mad about it, but what can you do? I would be too. Look, everyone's staring at me, look. 25% of Australians who travel overseas wrongly think that the Australian government will assist them in the, need, in the time of need with a medical emergency or any actual type of emergency. 
I'm here with the other mums, we're Morleys, that's uh, mums of schoolies and we're here to make sure no one gets arrested or ends up in hospital. That's about it, that's all we do. And have a few drinks. Oh no, none of that. <laughs> this year there are plenty of mums, like Danny from Perth, who've crashed their kids' schoolies celebrations, whether their children like it or not. All a learning curve. You have fun. I actually cheer them on, I think it's a good thing. You should celebrate being young. My son's here on leavers, so I've come over to make sure he's okay and to stalk him and uh, make sure he behaves. Hi mum! Just going to freshen up and then we're going to party. <laughs> Show the young ones how to do it. The responsibility though doesn't stop these mums having a good time. Why do you love coming here to Bali? The people, um, the culture, the fun. And the alcohol. And the alcohol. <laughs> and the perv. The perv? Yeah, of course. Who are you perving on? Oh, one of them. <laughs> Look at you, you've got nice eyes. <laughs> What's your name? You want my number? Oh, yeah, yeah. Get my name's Reed. Reed? Yeah. <laughs> During the day, we visited the local hospital to see what happens when a trip to paradise turns into a nightmare. Dr. Rindang Asmara is the head of emergency at BIMC Hospital in Nusa Dua. What are some of the worst examples of schooling nightmares? Well, I can give you an example of, um, we once had a patient uh, coming here already, death on arrival because of drowning, and a lot of young people um, riding motorbikes without helmet. We saw a stark reminder of the dangers young people can face in Bali. It was quite frankly very traumatic. Last week, Simon rushed to the island after his son Christian was found alone on the side of a road with serious head injuries. The popular lifeguard had been holidaying in Bali and doesn't remember what happened. He could have been attacked. He could have fallen off a bike. He could have been hit by a car. Where's your helmet? Here. It's a hat. It's a helmet. On the Saturday night of schoolie celebrations, ACA is travelling with Balinese police. Around 40 local police officers are patrolling the streets right now. We're in the heart of Kuta and they're on the lookout for any schoolies behaving badly. It doesn't take long before this brawl erupts. Bottles and punches are thrown. Eventually, undercover police move in to break it up. A current affair also witnessed this fight involving teenage girls. Pretty scary, not going to lie. Sorry, this is my interview, sorry. No oh, way, we were on current affair last night, so... No, OK, well, this is my time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, woo! He broke me thong. He's broke me thong. I'm from Darwin. It was too much fun. Too close to me, but too much fun. All the, all the everyone, you know what I mean? It's that... too much fun. You know what I mean, bro, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Schoolie. If you want to come to schoolie and just have a great time, meet this bloke. Look how gorgeous it is. Tinder. Yeah. I'll match with you, I'll swipe, oh, bro. Wait, hey, <laughs> a current affair, what the f The Moolies are back at it on the Saturday night. There they are watching over the strip. Look who it is. Second night in a row. Me again. <laughs> You're on patrol. Yes, we are the mums of the schoolies. What do you want to know? Uh, have you found your kids? No, no, we haven't. ACA managed to track the girls down, though. Drinks are two dollars eighty. Like, how do you pass that Drinks, up? drinks are like two bucks. It's the end of an era. It's a big milestone in your life. You're going to make memories that you really will have forever, and that's fantastic. Take care of each other. That's it. It's all good. There you have it, schoolies in Bali 2018. The teenagers have made it. Now they're gearing up for a bigger challenge, adulthood, and all the problems, anxiety, and rules that come with that. Good luck. Don't worry, as we've seen tonight, you can always come back. So long as they're all okay, the majority of Bali schoolies will start heading home over the next few days.